The firm handshake that I share with you, this employer is her invitation to dissect my persona and determine if I am someone she'd like to work with. We jump through the usual hoops, the hellos and the what have yous, and before I know it, I am sedated. Her scalpel looms moments from my darkest secrets, and then, like a boy chasing love during recess, she drops the question, what do you tell people that you are? And I'm taken back. My lines caught somewhere between yesterday and tomorrow. I ask her to repeat herself, but only in an effort to buy more time to think. She grows uneasy. So I say whatever comes to mind. I tell her that, that I'm a young man who works hard and respects his elders, that I love school and my family, and that I hope to have one of my own someday. But she laughs, says that if I ever wanted to land that job, I'd have to stop trying to sit so properly, stop seeing my scars as mistakes, that I shouldn't tell her what she wants to hear, she asks. Who do you tell people that you are? I tell people that I'm somewhere between 17 and dead, and that I've come to romanticize being struck by lightning, quite literally, and that I'm a sucker for broken glass that stands five foot two. I am broken. We are broken. I tell her that I am the change that I want to see in the world and that I fall in love with women who hate themselves just so that I can try and make things better. I never mention that I never do. I've spent the past few years trying to figure it all out. I tell people that I'm a boy chasing love during recess and I'm so fucking scared of cashing out. <laughs> Who do you tell people that you are? I'm living proof that single mothers raise strong men. My heart beats out a symphony that makes extremists curse their shitty aim. See, I believe that I've given my guardian angel a run for his money. But I also believe that my guardian angel enjoys running for his money. I've shaken hands with death more times than I'm comfortable saying. I've looked him in the face. I have the scars to prove it. She said that I ought to grow a spine. So I did.